Like and unlike terms, part one, identifying and simplifying. As we covered in a previous lesson, algebraic expressions are made up of terms. But each of these terms, how they relate to each other, can be described in two ways, like terms or unlike terms. Like terms, or when terms are described as like terms, they have the same variables in, e in both letters and exponents. And when this happens, they can be added or subtracted. When, when we have unlike terms, however, the variables are different. And as a result, they cannot be added together. Some examples of what un or what like terms look like. Here we have the on the first line a, two a, and negative five a. Despite the coefficient or the number being different, they are all in terms of a, and as a result, can be added. Below that, two x squared, six x squared and negative x squared, all having x squared and as a result can be added. ABC, 3BCA, 7CAB. On first glance, these look completely different. But then when you look closely, you realize they're just the same letters swapped around. And as you and as you know, multiplication can be swapped around. You can swap variables and numbers around with multiplication and addition. So that BCA is the same as ABC, as well as the CAB, the same as ABC. And as a result, they can be added. As such with the last one, a squared, b to the 3, c to the 4. Then the second one, you have b, it still keeps the b to the 3, the c still has a c to the 4, and the a still has an a to the 2. As with the last one, even, even though the positions are also changed around, the c still has the exponent 4, the a still has exponent 2, and B still has exponent 3. Since, all, since in all three of these, the letters have kept their exponents, they are all like terms. Now when it comes to the unlike terms, there are many more different examples. 3A and 3B. One's in terms of A, the other in terms of B. Cannot be added. 3X and 3. One's in terms of x, and one's just a normal number. Cannot be added. x squared and x to the 3. Although they're both in terms of x, they have different exponents. You cannot add x squared and x cubed. It's kind of like having an apple and an apple that's and a bigger apple. Same family, but you can still tell them apart. Then I have x squared and x squared y. One, the, one has an extra variable and as a result makes it unlike from the other one. And on this one, it looks very similar to the one above there. But you notice that in between each one, the letters have been given different exponents. This mean, This completely changes things and as a result, makes them unlike terms. And as a result, they cannot be added. Now coming to simplifying part one, which is adding and subtracting like terms. Simply put, all you have to do is add and subtract the coefficients or the numbers attached to the variables. Example one, 2x plus 3x. 2 of something plus 3 of something gives you 5 of something. And as you notice, the variable doesn't change. 10a squared minus 7a squared, 10 minus 7 giving you 3a squared. 
do not forget that variable. Negative 3x squared y minus 5x squared y, x squared y, x squared y, they can be subtracted. Negative 3 minus 5 giving you negative 8 x squared y. And then you have 2xy minus negative xy. When two negatives come together, they create a positive. So you're doing 2xy plus another xy, which gives you 3xy. Now what's happening here? 4a plus 2b minus 3a plus b. As I, I said, like terms, only like terms can add with each other, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We group the like terms together. So what we what I do over here, let me let's see what how many different ones we have. We have a's and we have b's. Only the a's can add with each other, and only the b's can add with each other. Four a minus three a, four minus three, giving you one a. Two b plus one b, giving you plus three b. This one looks a bit trickier. Until you, and then you notice first glance, x squared y, x squared y, x y squared. There's the difference. So group all your same ones together so you can see what you can add together. 3 minus 5, giving you negative 2, minus another 6, negative 8, x squared y. 1 minus another 5, 1 minus 5 gives you negative 4, xy squared.